Hi, I'm Andy Masick. I'm the president and CEO here at the Heinz History Center, and we're delighted to have on exhibit right now the Mr. Rogers sets. I mean, we have the real deal here. These sets were made in the 1960s, including the tree where X the Owl hooted and the living room set where Fred Rogers entered every day, coming through that door and taking off his coat, going to the closet, taking out his sweater that his mother knitted for him, and putting it on, and then of course tying on his trademark sneakers, sitting on this bench. Our curators and exhibit preparators have made a perfect lifelike replica of Fred Rogers. Joanne told me it was a little scary. Uh, it was so accurate. Also here is the castle where King Friday held court. Now, these sets weren't made to stand the test of time. In fact, they're made of paper mache and canvas and chewing gum and wire and uh, our conservators, that's the name we use for museum restorers and preparators, they have conserved these things. Hopefully, they'll last for generations to come. Also on exhibit here are some of the puppets that Fred was famous for. Um, in, in the 1960s or late 50s, uh, Dorothy Daniel, the general manager of WQED, gave Fred his first puppet. It was a little striped tiger, which he named Daniel for Dorothy Daniel. And that little puppet uh, took on his own personality. It was an extension of Fred Rogers, but, uh, but he was his own person. And all these other characters, the platypuses and cornflake, especially Grand Père Tiger, uh, these were some of the other characters who populated the neighborhood of uh, make-believe, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and 90s and touch the hearts of millions of people, generations of people around the world. There are stories behind stories here at the Mr. Rogers exhibit at the History Center. This trike, that's kind of an interesting story. That's the speedy delivery bicycle that Mr. McFeely rode. Now, uh, David Newell told me the other day, Mr. McFeely, that he couldn't ride a two-wheeler. I mean, they tried it on the set, and there's a big gouge out of the side of the tree uh, where the paper mache is damaged, where he crashed his bike into the tree, and Fred said, well, that's enough of that. I'm getting you a tricycle. And so that's why Mr. McFeely rides a, a trike. Uh, and there are other objects here, the trolley that led people to the land of make-believe, and King Friday the 13th's phone, of course, Friday the 13th, because he was born on Friday the 13th, but he was also the son of King Thursday the 12th. Um, then Harriet Elizabeth Cow's desk, X the Owl's printing press. Oh, you can't get too close to the things here at the History Center or an alarm will sound because we want these things to last for years to come. X the Owl had a printing press because he was a big fan of Benjamin Franklin's. Well, there are those kinds of props and items that will bring back memories to people who grew up in Mr. Rogers' living room and in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood.